Welcome back to the channel of Paradox the Rapper. Today we got an amateur rapper. Vlad's gonna attempt to rap his own FRS. Before we get into that, I got a whole new setup right here. We got some new lights up in here. We got two over there. And we got all these ones that are normally up here, of course. I'm gonna turn this on here. And then we got these two down here that will light up as well. All right, so the challenge is for Vlad to do this car in one week. If you can't wrap a car in one week, you shouldn't be wrapping. Especially when you're not working a second job like me. I work all day for like eight hours and stuff like that. Then I drive another hour home and then I do this. Okay, so here we have the color that he will be practicing on his car. This is a full roll of the metallic glossy lake blue. Oh, this coming real crystally on camera. Look at that. That's kind of sick. He didn't pick this color. We just had this roll laying around. So, um... We're gonna let him have at it. So I expect him to totally mess up this roll and not complete his car, but let's see if he never, proved never us wrong. Le pause the video right now and leave a comment. Let me know if Vlad can do it or is he gonna give up like everybody else? I'm not everybody else. <laughs> more, more, more. Here we go. They're about to roast you in the comments. See how to do this right. Yay! Yeah, Yay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. About to roast me, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, guys. Give, yeah. give me a thumbs is, up. Is this roast, this roast, roast, roast worthy? All right. Let's see. Now. Do you understand why we did that? To split the sides? The Look, one side, take you that got off one right, right here. Take that off right now. Yeah, Look. you got one side Hold right Hold this. Here. Put it on the thing. See how I flip that around? Bam. It needs to sit at an a slight angle. See? Oh, oh, okay. I see what you're Covered on top. Covered right here. Covered right there. And the cover flow will still be the same. If it's not too much at an angle. <laughs> That's the reason for the s -cut. You keep laughing at the camera, bro. I know, because you're pointing at me. I feel like when you point it at me, you're going to say something. We're not saying nothing. We're just observing. Oh, I see. <laughs> I saw that. You're not slick. I saw that. <laughs> slick. Yes. You're showing them. You right? wrap, While I wasn't we, we looking, wrap, I saw you showing them. We wrapped two cars already. I want to see if you <laughs> mess it up because you ain't paying attention to what we're doing this whole time. Texting. Uh, yeah, you tell me triple text. text I'm not texting. Texting these hoes. So he's doing a relief cut there because the light's in the way. So it's easy to stretch if the light is not blocking you from doing this up top. Keep it here. Yeah. Keep it here. Keep it back there. Now pull it back. Okay. Along this line. There. Cinch it off with your finger. Okay, that's your starting point. Okay. Now you go down and you go up. I see. And okay, that's the key. If you try to do too much at once, it's not going to work. You got you got to section off the, the panel into halves or quarters. Now, keep that up without pulling on it at all. Just don't pull on it. Just see it. No, just see it. Okay. 
let it relax for a second, and then pull the whole thing down. Go. Oh, you gotta pull it to some degree where it's flat. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> it is so hard for me to resist touching this thing and just, <laughs> just doing it myself. Harder. Nope, go up, go up. Now hard. There you go, you put your weight into it, yeah. Use the fat, flat part of your thumb. Like this. The fat part. Oh, like that? Yes. Now you got little ass thumbs. <sighs> what the hell? I wonder if your thumb gets fatter when you get older. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> my thumb's got an advantage. See, look at how big that I thing know, is, yeah. boy. <laughs> That's as big as your arm. <laughs> Let's lift the side skirt back. That's what I'm doing. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. It doesn't go more. Oh, it can go more. Yeah. Take it all the way back. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> yeah. See? All right. He's now about to attempt the quarter panel setup. Okay. Check it. That's okay, that's good. Now you can straighten it out. Pull it forward. Yeah, there we go. But don't let these magnets move. Move this whole thing up. Right there. Okay, this is covering the door. Lift yeah. it up. See where the door is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. Outline where, where your limit is. So you don't cut past it. Okay. Now you gotta make a cut from the back to the front. Cross. Nope, too short. That's too too short. Keep going. You gotta go. Look. No, too down, down. Stop going up. This is why you put these here. Straight. So straight across. Okay. So he's having a hard time figuring out where to cut. Um, it always helps if you can just sharpie it. There is a plastic cover over this, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't want to do this on the wrap itself because it's going to be permanent because it's a sharpie. But if you can't figure out the boundaries with your magnets, then you can sharpie this. Okay, feel for it. There it is. Window. Mm -hmm. Lens right there. Where's his door? Okay, so he left extra room for the door. That's good. Okay. Cut on the outside of this line. Look at that. Outside! <laughs> outside of the line. <laughs> Why can't you say on the outside of your own line? Oh, he's gone. You're good. You're good now. Yeah, that's good. That's the door piece. Okay. Now you're gonna come over here and cut this piece. Ideally, what you want to do is continue it so that oh. you have a bigger piece to mess with. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, you want as big of a scrap piece as possible. I mean, those two pieces you just cut could be for the uh, mirror, but mm -hmm. if you have a big piece, maybe it's big enough for a wing or something. All right. Now, since he's been pulling on that for the thumbnail, you're gonna lift it back up from here. And then stretch it it comes that way. More. There you go. 
going. Okay, good. Stretch it back. Go hard. Lean your body into it. Yeah, there you go. Put your back into it. There you go. Very nice. Oh yeah, you almost fell over. That's that's what you know you got a good pull. <laughs> See this? Too much tension. I mean if you heat this up, that'll be fine, but we'll, we'll give you good practice. You're gonna lift all this up and you gotta work it into there. And that. Oh right there next to you. Okay, only to there though. Alright, now you can work that in. Keep going. Push it in there. There you go. It's not that complicated of a curve, so it will stick. Put it back past this. Okay. Now, lean back. Nope. Not hard. Your left hand needs to be harder. There you go. Nope. Go back. There you go. Your left hand, you need more muscle on the left hand. Okay, mm -hmm. pull back. Lean, left side. Lean, lean, okay. There you go. That's that's decent. Get rid of this thing, this bubble. So you're gonna palm it into there. Palm this and work this first. That's where the air is. Okay. Get all that air out before you even deal with anything up top. Use your thumb. There you go. Good. Keep your thumb tight. Okay, down. Out. No, towards you. Pull towards you. Mm -hmm. Down. There you go. Okay, see? Okay, then I'll lay back slowly. Go back. Not too hard. Just enough so that this line is... Okay, keep going. Yep, yep. That's all you want, right there. Perfect. Swipe that, would you? You can use the outside of your hand, too. You know that? I like that. No, like this. Oh, oh, I see. No, but you, you gotta start here though, and you gotta lift it up and help it out. There you go. Pretend this is the Karate Kid movie. Yeah, okay. yeah. You're gonna use your hands as the weapons. hand is the best squeegee because you can feel everything and if you do this long enough your hand will become thick as steel you can just swipe a man's skin right off his body do the invincible just <laughs> <laughs> yes I'll pull it back up get the, get the, get the yeah there you go. You gotta feel it. Yeah. You gotta feel the direction of your body to make it work. You felt that, right? If you if you shift your weight a different way, then the wrinkles will fall where you want it to. It's also kind of using your eye too. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this, all you gotta do is just pull it that way. All right. So we didn't. So we didn't get as far as we like to, but I think you learned some good lessons here. Okay, so take a look at this. Vertical to the body line. You gotta pick this whole thing back up to here. Right. And then you're gonna pull it this way. And then when you get to here, you're gonna heat this up right here. And you're gonna pull this down. All this needs to flow that way 
because this is gonna pull up on you. All right, so by the time I get home, all of this should be wrapped. So that's your mission for tomorrow while I'm at work. All right, one day has passed and this is what he has done. So I showed him what to do last night. He continued today and then he did this portion up here and Vlad did the door all by himself. The door looks pretty good, but <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? How are you gonna be top G uh, <laughs> with a door like that? <laughs> Give me push ups right now! <laughs> 20 push ups. Uh, that is not kept through here, you know, I know. Top G status, okay? So, let's stretch that out. It's all part of practicing. What happened? When you sent me the picture, it was nice and overlapping this thing. It's just like a, it was just bridge. It was looking good. And then all of a sudden, the next text was like, I burped it. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? You just heated it for too long. Well, it kept it kept the the tension kept pulling, and I kept so I kept trying to fix the tension, and I kept reheating it, and then it, I saw oh, the you color, yeah. you can yeah you can keep reheating it. It's oh. just I kept heating it. Too oh, because yeah, oh, okay, too yeah. long. Okay, yeah. Never, yeah, never keep it in one spot. Yeah, this is good. This is something that you have to have happen to you a couple of times for you to know how much heat is too much heat. Okay, so. Right now we're gonna keep the door as it is because we don't know if you're gonna have enough material to finish the car. So you're just gonna to have to leave that and if you have any material left over at the end, that's when you redo the part you messed up. So if you cut on the squeegee, then you can avoid cutting anything else. You're only cutting the squeegee, no big deal. If you cut your seal all the way through, then you're, now your car is leaking water when it rains, okay? So what you wanna do is tuck it in first like this and then how I do it, hold this, hold my beer. Okay. How I do it is I tuck it in. I get a nice fresh blade that's very sharp. Because it's sharp, you're not putting a lot of pressure on it and you can still cut, thus you don't cut the seal. Rest the blade on that. You're just using the uh, squeegee as a guide, okay? That's it, so you're just, you're not moving the blade, you're moving the squeegee. The, the squeegee just guides the blade because it's resting against it. Okay, just like that. And maybe you want to get some of this off. Okay. okay, so there's a seal right there. You see that? Oh, just, the little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just get to that point. Leave all this extra. And then you can take a thing. The hook. The, the hook and then you can tuck it in. We're going to leave him to cut this whole thing out. Okay, so that's the, that's the objective. You're gonna do that same tactic with the blade and the squeegee all the way around. Make sure you tuck everything in first, heat it up, make sure it doesn't move. You remember what happened with the headlight? You messed up a little yeah, bit, how to yeah. fix it for him because you cut it too short. Leave extra. Even if you even if it's overflowing, that's fine because you can always trim it later when it's already sitting out in the sun. And this one, you're gonna heat this up and you're gonna press it from the middle right here and then you're gonna press the air out then you're gonna cut these out all right bumper time all right you have to squat okay so what you want is to go across this line right here mm -hmm. so try to redo it again with the line as as possible. Okay, lower lower hand, left hand lower okay there you go. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good. See this? That's perfect. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Okay. But you only go up to here because you gotta do the same thing that you just did over there, mm -hmm. over here. That line's perfect, so we're gonna seal that off. Okay. okay. Okay, see that? Okay, we only care about up to here. We cinch this line off now. Okay, we're gonna come down here. Get those out. The rest of this is not that important. Okay, you just want to get all the middle wrinkles out. You're only pulling it up to here. Okay. All right, get across that. Get across that ridge. As flat as you can. Very nice. 
Very nice. That was pretty good. Pretty good. That was very good, actually. So, minimal work on your part because you just have to do this. Get all this air out. Create your line. I showed them how to set up the middle of the bumper, and then I did this side. So basically, what you're doing is uh, you're just working it around a little bit at a time. You basically section it off on this line, and you pull up, you pull down, then you get to here, then you work all this from this line over, and then you work from this that way. And you section this off here, you work the top, you work the bottom. So it's all about sectioning the bumpers. I showed them that last night off camera, and I was like, go out here and struggle on this side, and look at him go. All right, so here's where he's at now. He managed to do this whole section up to here, now he's working this part. So as you can see, Rod's really picking it up here and uh, learning the technique. Okay. Oh, there you go. Nice pull. Nice pull. Load is colored. Uh, Maybe. Let's turn on this light. No, I see it. Yeah, it's... Discolored. So you gotta go Too back hard. and redo it. Pull it all the way back to where it's discolored. Keep going. What not this discolored here? No. A little bit. See that? Shiny, not shiny. Shiny, oh, yeah, not shiny. Go yeah. back further. How come you came around this corner all good? It's all nice and evenly shiny. <laughs> that <don't> happened. <laughs> oh, you yeah, buckling under pressure? All right, let it relax for a second, pull it back. Okay, now go. That's better. More forward that way. Now, you gotta pull down here towards that way. So you gotta get rid of these things. Hold on. There you go. Okay. Alright. Now, down with your hand and then towards the front. Okay. There you go. It's pretty good. Pretty good. These are kind of a problem, these vertical ones. But you're going to pick that back up and pull it that way and then this way. Okay. There you go. Okay, much better. Much better. So these down here, all you got to do is just pop this up. And then you heat this a little bit. Here, squeegee that down. Okay. Looking good. Now you just gotta work this part and then cut it off and you're done. All right, it is Thursday night and he is actually on schedule. All right, so here's the back bumper. As you can see, I did this side for him, and then he did this whole side from this point over all by himself. So on this side, um, we got it all the way over here. He's kind of got it set up. His new lip came in. So that's the new lip down there. And that's going to be a totally separate piece with this piece up top. Uh, okay. Hold on, you got to get the squat going. You know how I do it. I do that for a reason. No, yeah, okay, there you go. You want to be horizontal to the car. That's why I do that. Four. Okay. Nope, too hard. Too hard. You want this down. You want this down to cover that. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. Okay. There you go. That's pretty good. Okay. Right, this little grasshopper knows what he's doing. <laughs> okay. You want to work it into here first. So you want to pull it back. Give it maximum slack. Heat this up. Okay. Super thin. 
See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do that. See that? Mm -hmm. Now onto the crease first. Always the dip first. Use your fingers. Okay, so basically, what he's trying to do right now is to have this whole nose section from here all the way to the other side all flat. Now just get this this area set. You're fine for now. You don't care yeah. about anything over here because you gotta lift all this back up. Right. Okay, so put that. Heat it up so you, there you go. Just a little bit. Uh -huh. Nope, not too much. Okay, there you go. You got under there. That's good. All right. So there you go. So you, you're now set. You can make the. You can just outline this line and then make the cut like I showed you. Just the vinyl, not the car. That's good. That's fine. Okay. Let me go all the way up. Okay. All right. Now you're going to take all this back all the way up to here. Okay, but don't 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 make this ex don't make right. that expand any further. Keep going, keep going. Not too much pull, but you don't want to just color it. Okay, just do a little couple sections at a time. You know what I'm saying? So do this section and then do this section and then do the final. Back towards the corner. Okay, there you go. Notice how all the lines are flowing with the edge of the panel and not opposite to it. If you set it up where the points are going opposite to the panel, it's not right. Okay, down. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, now you just gotta work these full guys out. Okay, careful. Don't see your, you, you see how it's turning white? Mm -hmm. You gotta heat that because you're putting too much pressure on it. You're gonna take your fingers and kind of prop it up like that, and then you just heat it and then you just let your fingers drop. There you go. See how that works, kind of? There you go. Okay, perfect. No discoloration. Do this on top. But watch out here. Okay. There you go. Just to that edge and we're going to fold it over. Don't worry about it yet. Get the rest of the set. Then you can fold it over. Pull backwards with your body. Okay. There we go. Well, mm. Too much, too much downforce. These are coming down. Break back up. You want the, you want the, you want the center to be horizontally across. Okay, down. Okay, more down. There you go. Yes. Yes. This looks like it's worse, but it is better. Trust me. Now you just cinch it off right here. Yeah. Onto this. Create a barrier. All right. Now you can go down from this line and up from this line. Okay. Yep. Let's let it go. Okay. Right there, like that. Grab over here. Grab over there. Down. Okay. Great. Seal that off. Okay, so you're gonna get as much as you can 
then you're gonna have to at some point pick it back up and work it into there. Well, it's hard because it's so tight. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, you gotta grease her up. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just let it go. Uh huh. Uh huh. See that? Let's see how that works? Very nice. Take a middle point and then just rub it in there. Rub it into there. Well, you want, you don't want to cause yourself a gnarly wrinkle. Just make it even, like this, like this. From a middle point outwards, see, like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you just have this to deal with and that to deal with, but you worked it into here with no tension. I was kind of trying to see if you can figure that out. <laughs> there you go. He's getting the concept of working into that curve. Never try to heat it up and push it into the curve. You want to work it with no tension. Those of you guys who are watching this follow those principles. You can wrap anything. All right, here we go. We're getting to the last pieces. He's about to do his hood all by himself. Um, you're a little short right here. Okay, there we go. I helped him reposition it so that it actually covers down here now. And then you're only short a little bit up here. That's because he keeps measuring it wrong. You should always cut two inches more than what you measured. You're not going to save any more material if you don't do it that way. So we got to stretch this, which is not bad. You can stretch it from here, you know, it'll be fine. Yeah, there you go. Do it like that. Okay. okay, that's good enough. And then you're gonna, okay, just get tension across. Good. See, you have a flat part here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna flatten this out right in the middle, roughly from here or there. And then you're gonna work that all the way to the corner. Basically, when you're doing a hood, you're breaking it into four pieces. One corner, two corner, third, fourth. So breaking the quadrants way easier. All right, so up here you're going to heat that and then pull these out. Right here, yeah. And, and then you're gonna pull. You're gonna get your hand behind here. here. Oh, okay. okay, that's good. This line now. High, higher up. Okay. Right here, right here, right here. Like that, good. See that? Boom. Yeah. Pull that hand that way. And that hand that way. Okay. Would your body pull up? <laughs> okay. Maybe you got your hands got to be close to your Okay. Go All right. Here's what you're trying to do. Hold this. Hold this. Hold my beer. Okay. So you want to get it so it's soft enough so you can maneuver it. that see how I did that yeah 
That's when you gotta start pumping some iron. Okay. How many push-ups do you do today? <laughs> How many? <laughs> I haven't done any push-ups. How many push-ups have you done this week? None. How are you gonna wrap, how are you gonna do that pull if you don't do no push-ups? <laughs> What's the top G say? <laughs> I was doing it the hood was insane. That shit was hard. Uh-huh. That's because you're weak. That was like I was lifting. Let me see, let me see your guns. Oh. oh see. My little pebbles. My little pebbles. pebbles. You gotta, you gotta work on those. That's how you pull these harder. Okay, so now that you have this set, you're gonna work it all the way to where the the wrinkles are. All right, the car is all done, and Vlad did really good work. He actually finished on time, which is the hardest part. So we're gonna show you the video of the car, the walk around right now. things I see that are messed up are um, like so for example right here too short this is a very common mistake for first-timers because you it's very hard to it's very hard to gauge how much material you need once it's all like done right like yeah. what happened Why is well, it too short? corners corners of the toughest part uh, especially first yeah aspect. but what happened here why, why was why were these too short I don't remember, <laughs> but it's, 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 it's still coming, coming into the corner and then, you know, sometimes you'll probably nick like a piece that you didn't want to, or like the blade will kind of like, it'll go too far than you expect it to. And then when you're pulling it and you realize you just cut too short and then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So right down here, um, it's too short right here too. You see that? So now that you've done this, you know that you want to have this settled and make sure that you yeah. cut this right here. Yeah, don't cut, yeah, don't cut along the wrong edge. That's what I did here. When you see right here, I was supposed to cut right here, but I cut back here. Yeah, and then he had to pull a little more forward because now he's like discoloring right here or so. And then over here, um, this bumper is a little hard to do because the quality of this lip that we got is really bad. This is like an eBay lip, but you don't see how bad the the uh, plastic or the um, the fiberglass work is so it's all ripply and then you got some bubbles right here um, this is simply because it's very hard to work into this crease and then on top of that the material is not that great so it doesn't want to stick to it so uh, it's really not his fault but you know there's like a shortcut here um, where else where else Stop. Up top, yeah, right cut, here. Cutting, cutting these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, what he, what happened here was, uh, I showed him how to lay into here, but he didn't tuck it into this all the way, and then he just went to cut it. But then when you time, when it comes time to heat it up, it just became too short. So you have to have like a little bit like a one eighth of an inch um, extra so that you can tuck it in. So next time you can be able to do that better. Oh yeah. Right. Right. Okay. That's where you cut and then it ended up tearing right there. So that's where I had Oh to, yeah, I yeah. cut it right here and I, I stuck it to this trunk and then he lifted this trunk up. Yeah, and he and didn't the know trunk, yeah. the trunk just ripped some of it off. Yeah. This part was hard, you said? This is my hardest part. Well, because you, you had a hard time connecting all this? The hardest part, yeah, is, is, is you got to right here, you crease it in, but you got to leave a big air bubble right here. Yeah, and then cut yeah, off the top. That, that was my hardest part. That was the most frustrating thing. Okay. Trying to make the air bubbles. All right. There it is. Good first lesson. I think the, the goal is, Vlad's gonna rewrap my 240 and that thing is all messed up. Like there's no paint on there to be saved at all. So he can practice cutting on that car all he wants. Once he's done finishing that car in the new color, he can go back and redo his FRS again, this time with a better result. You have to do at least four cars to get decently good. And you gotta practice a lot 
in order to not have these issues that he's having now. So if you guys like this video, let us know in the comments below. If you want this exact color, go down to the description. You can order this color. I'll have it linked below as well. All right, so we handed me the camera now. Like this? Yeah. <laughs>